Steve here with HBS Flooring, High Performance Systems, taking a look at some restaurant kitchen flooring. What we have here is a uh, failed epoxy coating, um, and we're going to be reinstalling uh, a protective flooring system, but it'll actually be a urethane system. Some of the drawbacks from an epoxy is actually the bond strength. Between epoxy and urethane, the urethane has a much more strong bond. Um, as you can see underneath the equipment, The epoxy is actually coming off in sheets, whether it's due to the epoxy's uh, installation or the preparation. And as a result, you'll have some mold issues. To start the project, we'll remove any delaminated issues, degrease, and run a diamond grind on top. From there, we'll be sectioning the kitchen off into three sections to allow them to stay in running condition. And applying a urethane slurry with an anti-slip that allows for good cleanability. And a urethane top coat to get them back into working time. We're working with six hour units here and we'll be done the job in, in uh, three sections, so three days. Steve here with HPS High Performance Systems. Taking a look at the residence flooring we're installing for TGIF uh, Fridays out in Scranton, PA. We did our quick diamond grind, degrease, and removal of all uh, previous epoxy coatings that have failed, uh, delamination and everything, and we'll be installing a urethane mortar system and a urethane top coat as opposed to our traditional epoxy top coat. Uh, these materials allow us to have a turnaround time of less than six hours to get these guys back into shape for breakfast tomorrow. What we're doing right now is we're patching the delaminated areas so that our semi-self-leveling slurry system will have no depressions where they're set. And then we'll be broadcasting the slurry system and top coating with that urethane top coat, all chemical resistant. Steve here with HPS High Performance Systems taking a look at the uh, finished product on the first leg of work from last night. We're back here at TGIF Fridays uh, installing a urethane, a cementitious urethane slurry on top of a failed epoxy coating. Uh, one of the drawbacks of epoxy is it's bond and curate. A urethane slurry allows for a much better adhesion to the floor as well as quick turnaround times. We're here in a six hour work shift and we'll knock out the rest of this 1300 square feet and a total of about 13 hours um, leaving one extra day just for touch ups, cone basing. What we're doing right now is just removing all delaminated areas from this degreasing, cleaning the floor. We'll be installing a patch for the compressed areas where we remove the material with the TPM 711 patching material high early strength to allow for us to go right on top of it in this six hour window. Steve here with HPS taking a look at some epoxy coatings that haven't bonded what happens here is the water breaches the initial bond and over time delaminates the entire surface. The epoxy comes up in sheets. Oftentimes contractors will overlook the importance of proper surface preparation. As you see here we're doing some diamond grinding, some edging underneath the equipment. We already did a quick diamond grind with the 32 inch diameter uh, mongrel system. We're coming back to the national grinder to give it another rough grind to make sure we create a good profile for our urethane coating. And this is our finished product.
Steve here with HPS High Performance Systems. We're taking a look at the final step of our third leg of the TGIF Fridays urethane, cementitious urethane floor coating. Uh, we did this on top of an epoxy coating that had failed in uh, six hour units to allow them to get back on their floor and not have any downtime. And this is the finished product.